Six Nine and Steve Will Do It have been friends for around three years. Their friendship was at a point where you could tell they genuinely liked each other and they were giving each other half a million dollar cars. But Six Nine did snake Steve a little over a year ago for putting the King Von jacket on the Lil Dirk lookalike without telling Steve that was his plan all along. And then everyone turned on Steve Will Do It thinking that he set up this kid, but it was really Six Nine. And they had a little bit of a falling out over that and Steve said he wasn't going to be friends with them anymore. But then they ended up being friends again at some point. But now seems to have hit the fan again. So here we go. Here's Steve's Instagram right here. Look at 6 9 is a menace to society. Guy's a loser. So we got three more slides here. <laughs> um, a lot of people are saying that this could be fake and like a planned beef just to like go viral and have people like me talk about it and just give them publicity. Ever since Steve Will Do It got banned on YouTube, it's been harder for him to be in YouTube videos because I think you can get banned if you have him in your YouTube video. So obviously Steve isn't as relevant as he once was. I mean, he still pulls like a million on Rumble, which is insane. So yeah, I don't think this is fake. So let's keep going because it, it gets serious. <laughs> Prepare yourselves for what he says. I don't think you understand how much of a loser 6 9 is. Rat. It's not, not too serious yet, but now people are saying, why, bro? What happened in his DMs? Like fans are just freaking the fuck out. Like what's going on? Everyone wants to know why 6 9 is a piece of shit. You want to know the truth about 6 9 too. He's a rat. Now he's bringing up the whole shit that 6 9 got arrested for and took a plea deal back in, I believe, like 2014 or 2015 when he was 18 years old, where he, you know, was on video with a underage girl, like doing a stunt for Instagram or something. And apparently his friend did something with the girl and she turned out to be 14 and she was like ran away from home and shit. Some sort of underage charge with this girl back in 2014. He took a plea for it and when he was 18 years old. Some serious shit obviously happened back then. And now the next slide that Steve put on his Instagram is the worst one because he just, he doesn't hold back on this one boys i'm gonna try not to get demonetized for this one but here we go did he just delete it he hasn't deleted it. okay it like disappeared off my screen for a second i challenged 6ix9ine to a fight he only likes to hit women though so i okay if he will accept i identify as a woman so let's fight he hit his ex-girlfriend his current girlfriend with his car and almost killed her i don't know if that was public because i haven't been keeping track of 6ix9ine bullshit i'm gonna be honest i kind of like forgot about 6ix9ine the past like six months or so like body cam footage of him being arrested for like not paying a speeding ticket came out and i didn't even cover it because i was like i don't really care that much but yeah i don't know if this is like a public thing that apparently he ran over his girlfriend with a car or hit her with a car i mean pretty fucking wild doesn't surprise me though because i'm pretty sure 6ix9ine's baby mama too said that he hit her as well and so i mean if three different girls are saying you hit her you probably and hit her and you're a piece of shit like let's be honest like if three different girls are saying that three girls you're in long-term relationships with some girls obviously do lie out there and it's a sticky situation but it wouldn't surprise me if he hit them <laughs> six nine has always came off as a guy that means well when he's socializing with people and on camera but i feel like he's always been a little bit of a snake and there's other things with like him and zillakami back in the day too where zillakami like helped ghostwrite for him and gave him his whole style and shtick for like being an artist in general he has oh. this thing where he doesn't remember <laughs> anything you did for him ever mm. so you could bro you could save his mom from a train that never did shit for me with a straight face mm. That's you'll, like just like, you'll just be like you'll be looking around like wait hold up and it's like nigga i write all the fucking songs and then like he completely snaked zillakami and i don't like that i feel like if you snake the people you come up with like he did you're kind of corny for that this doesn't surprise me i identify as a woman so let's fight <laughs> steve dude Steve is wildin'. Let me see if they're still following. Steve's not following anyone. Let me see if 6 ix following him. 6 9 isn't following him on Instagram, but he only follows nine people, so. This isn't anything we don't know. How is this news? Well, this is news because they're like best friends and now they're clearly out of falling out and some shit happened behind the scenes. It's pretty interesting to me, honestly. Didn't they give each other cars? <laughs> That's the funniest part about rich people where they give someone like a big gift and then they have a falling out and they're like, fuck, I gave this guy like a $100,000 car, like shit. Now I look like a fucking idiot. He did this to me. In this situation, a half a million dollar car. That is is so much money a half million dollars you can retire off of if you invest it correctly was calling him his best mate the other week dude that's like so wild damn my video a year ago has a million views on this when they first had their falling out what happened with the six nine um i mean dude he he he's six nine he made a mistake as in yeah six nine does what he whatever he wants as in I, I do whatever i want he wanted something done and um he wanted with this guy that looked like little Dirk, cause no, but he doesn't. He, it's six nine. If he's in a room with little Dirk, he'd be, "What's up? You, you, how you doing? How's your family?" That's who six nine is. But he, for views, for what his internet. image, his internet, he wanted to make this video happen, and he used my name to do it. That is so fucked. So basically, six nine like straight up used his friend's name to get the connection to meet up with this kid. Think about how crazy that is. Just for the Instagram video. 
and they get the headlines for like a week or two. I don't know why Steve ever forgave him for that. I feel like that's kind of a thing where you just don't ever be friends with them ever again because it shows their true colors. Like, especially if you're all are like both successful and have money and this guy's snaking you. It sucks because like, like six nines got, even though he used my name for bad, like the guy has good intentions overall. Like even when I say he was using this kid, little Dirks, whoever he's dead, but his intentions are just for views, internet. It's it's not like talking real. about King Von. Yeah, King Von. Yeah. It came, but it's not. He doesn't have disrespectful intentions or ill intentions. Like six nine, a hundred percent has ill intention online. I mean, I'm pretty sure he said like fucked up shit about King Von dying, putting laughing emojis when like rappers die and shit. Like he like laughs at people dying. I think when Nipsey Hustle died, he like made fun of Nipsey Hustle too. Like six nine's kind of a scumbag. Let's let's be completely honest here. <laughs> Even if you had like a beef with someone or they called you a rat, at a certain point you got to be like, oh shit, this guy just lost his life, and you're gonna troll him in his fucking Instagram comment section after he died. Like, you're, like, one of the lowest of the low. Like, that's showing his true colors no matter what. But, you know. 6 9 is 6 9 for views, for clout. That's just who he is. So, it's, like, the whole situation's f***ed because, like, he actually had no ill, ill intention as in he just was doing his thing. Had no ill intention, but he wrapped a King Von jacket around a Lil Durk lookalike who was just with Lil Durk like a week before. Clearly trying to troll Lil Durk for the death of his friend, King Von. Like, I still don't know how 6 9 hasn't been touched, like actually shot. He must really stay in his house and have good security when he goes out and like picks and chooses where he goes. I mean, obviously he got caught in the gym like six months ago or whatever and got beat up in the gym, but there's people out there that are willing to kill 6 9 it's just basically them throwing their life away and they're going to get caught and arrested and go to jail for the rest of their life. But I'm sure there's someone out there that will crash out and fucking do it for O Block. Uh, there's someone out there that's going to do it, dude. His views is for views and his image and shit. Do, do you think if, if Danny was here right now, he'd apologize? Danny, yeah, he he, he, he has apologized. And, and yeah. you know, da he, he he's a good guy. Yeah. He's a good guy in real life. Just like, that's why it's like, I have no, you know, at first I had people wanting to kill me. <laughs> and shit so it was like isn't that crazy you got snaked by your friend and it ended up getting death threats to you and like real gangsters mad at you like that's literally what happened to steve think about how fucking crazy that is but what people were trying to kill you some fucking you know a gang in miami okay dude that was a scary time like i feel like i couldn't leave our apartment but it, like it was scary but it was it was all bullshit. But I think it was misunderstanding. It was, a, misunderstanding. It was, it was such misunderstanding. a misunderstanding. Let's, wrap, let's is, wrap up the 6 9 So yeah, now they had a big falling out again. I'm sure Steve's going to talk about it more publicly. And if Steve comes out and explains what happened behind the scenes for them to have another falling out, I'll cover it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe from a tourist cram. Fucking love you, boys. Peace out.